Hi everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Tripos payment gateway with the Ingenico IPP320 terminal on your iPad. The terminal comes with a 2-in-1 cable that will supply the terminal with both network access and power. Plug the power adapter into this 2-in-1 access point, like so. You'll then want to plug the network cable into an Ethernet port on your router, and the power adapter into a wall socket. Then, plug the 2-in-1 cable into the back of the terminal, like so. Optionally, you can lift the pull tab on the back of the adapter and screw the adapter into the terminal for greater stability. Once powered on, the terminal will run through its boot up process and, assuming it's not already paired with another account, it will end in this activation code screen. We'll use this activation code to add it to our payment gateway in a moment. Now that the terminal has been booted up and we can see the activation code, we're ready to add the payment gateway in the account. To do so, open the main menu and switch to the retail side of the app. Tap Settings, followed by Payment Processing. And finally, add a payment gateway. First, we'll have to select the appropriate gateway from the drop down menu. In this case, Vantive Tripos. And then we'll have a configuration screen in order to set up this gateway. The first thing you'll need to do is name the configuration. You can name this whatever you like, but for simplicity's sake, I'm simply going to call it Tripos. And then you'll have to fill in the gateway credentials. These credentials would have been emailed to you, and it's very important that you copy and paste them exactly as they were sent to you. If anything is even slightly off, you will not be able to accept any payments. Once the gateway credentials have been entered, you can select the shop that you want this terminal to apply to. And then you'll want to establish with your security options whether or not you want to allow credits. Allow credits gives you the option to refund not just the card that was originally used to make the transaction that you are refunding, but to a new card that is swiped. You'll also want to decide whether or not you're going to allow partial approvals. This means that if a card is used that doesn't have enough space left on the card to fulfill the final transaction, it will actually approve whatever balance remains on the card, allowing you to partially pay for the transaction and then complete the transaction using another form of payment. And finally, you can complete the credit card payment mapping. These all default to credit card, but you do have the option to create custom payment types called Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, and so on. And you can map to those payment types if you want more specific granular reporting. I'm going to leave those set up as the credit card default, and we're going to save this gateway as it is. Once the gateway has been saved, we are now ready to add the terminal itself and pair it with the iPad. To do that, we'll go back to the main menu and hit the credit card icon at the bottom of the menu. And that will take us to the Payment Terminal section of Device Settings, where we will find the Add a Payment Terminal option. If you don't see this option and instead see a message about setting up a valid payment gateway first, simply log out of the app and log back in, and you should see the Add a Payment Terminal option. Once you tap that option, you'll be asked to name the terminal. Again, this terminal can be called whatever you want, and I'm simply going to call it Terminal. Tap Next, and it will ask you for the activation code that should still be visible on the screen of the terminal itself. Terminal ID is entirely optional. Once you tap Next, you will see that the payment terminal is pairing. The screen on the terminal itself should advance past the activation code screen to a Tripos logo screen and you should see the payment terminal has been paired successfully green checkmark on the iPad. Tap Done, and we are now ready to begin a test transaction to make sure that everything is working properly. 
Let's open the main menu. We'll leave the retail manager side of the app and start a new sale. Tap the magnifying glass to add an item to the sale. And then you can tap either the card or more payments option at the bottom. I'm going to tap card. And that will kick things over to the terminal, which will then provide instructions on how to proceed. Tap, insert, or swipe the card. Select the card type and confirm the dollar amount. Once the terminal has approved the payment, that approval will be sent back to the iPad and we will see the payment successful notification in the app. Then simply tap finish sale. And that's it. You have a fully functional terminal and you are ready to accept card payments. That concludes this video. Be sure to check out the Help Center for more information and videos.